hello guys so when was the last time you saw a shipment as beautiful as this as the best landing page and also the best tracking system you can think of this has a live tracking system that moves on the map yes i say it again it has a live tracking system that moves on the map as you can change it from where um from you can update it from one location to the other and the movement changes on the map now let's look at what we are talking about um so today we are going to be talking about how to build this part this um, particular website look um this particular shipping website um uh, from the bottom to the end of it we are going to be talking about how to build this particular shipment website so what we are going to be doing is we are going to um let's see how the shipment how the tracking looks like Let's see. Let's track. Very good. So as you can see, it was beautifully it was beautifully made with be the best preloaders and everything. So this is how the tracking looks like. But this is the core of this um scripts of this beauty. Look at it has the map from here to yeah. And if you check it on the if you check it on the uh, details you see it carries from as you can see this is destination Lisbon now this is where it is right now but it is going to Lisbon so as you can see it, it has moved through the map to Lisbon Lorex Lisbon, as you can see it here. So, this is how this one works. Um, let's go straight into how we're going to be building it. Yeah. Okay. So, to be able to use um, this, you get the um file the zip file and also the sql file i'll be let, letting you know how to get these files at the end of the video so i've created a folder inside my public html for this particular script but if you are getting your cpanel for the very first time that's your hosting and your domain if you are getting your cpanel for the very first time you you have to go to from your file manager into your you have to go from your cpanel into your file manager then straight into your public html if you are buying for the first time for for one particular site this is where you have to go to but for me, I've created a folder inside my public HTML called Live Track. So we're using demo hundred dot online demo hundred dot com dot ng dot com slash Live Track. So the very first step I have to do is to upload. So let's come here and we click on first thing upload so i i break in this um steps into tv first you upload second you set up your your database and third you edit whatsoever you need to edit to make it follow up with whatsoever name you have bought or to follow up that the this covers logos cover text edit and every other thing you can just you want to do even the colors to make sure it's it's something that you can use to your own test so after this we'll go back then we extract this very good so we'll close this let's reload this page and see what we have extracted so come inside here and we select everything move it to yeah 
Come on, move it here. So now let's go to um, our publication. We we'll look for the base wizard. So click on that. Okay, so now we we'll create a database. This database we are going to be creating. It has to be the same. Like we are going to be creating in the way that the, the database name, the password, and everything is the same. So let's look at um, database and let's use a live track database. Mm, let's call it. O one copy it and next step. Okay. So that same thing we copied from there. We are going to take it and paste it here also. I'm going to take it and also paste it on the, on the password. The password again, then we create. So doing this, we have created our database. Now after creating our database, we click on all privileges. After creating our database here. We go to the next step which is uploading our sql so to do that we we'll go to uh, php admin so we look for the database we just created and this is it. This database we just created. So we we'll go there. We import our SQL file. So on the, we can see it here. Our SQL file is created live. We we'll click on it and we import. Now, still having what we just copied on our clipboard, then we we'll come to our file manager. We we'll go into core. We'll go into um, the dot env. Make sure you are always when you when you get your CPAN in you make this thing on you show it in file you can save it now then you go to your dot env um you edit it you click on you right click and click on edit then you come here you see your domain everything for your domain so let's click it let's change it to this and to this so that's localhost okay so that's correct we we'll have to change the. We'll have to change um, the URL. Let's see what we have. Oh, sorry, that wasn't correct. Let's see what we have here. Live track. Okay, so now let's change the URL here. Save it. Very good. So. We've changed it and we let's click on accept. So very good. We have our our um, tracking system here, our full website built and everything ready for us to use. So let's let's go to let's see how we can get our admin. You can click on this and click admin okay very good so how can we get our admin logins we we'll go to what we just created look at our we'll see the see we call admins so we can create let's see what we have to do here. so do this thing you can see um you can get your admin password your admin details here um where you can you get all your shipments from you can get all your shipments from um korea infos and get it from here as you can see this is how shipment numbers look like but right now so we have come to the end of this video for you to get the scripts you can send me a number on my whatsapp number or telegram um my socials will be beating under the description of this video i want to send my numbers to you on the comment section contact me through contact me through the numbers you have on the description thank you very much please do subscribe watch and like Thank you.